Hey everyone, the new management experience for managing agents in the Microsoft Admin Center is live. So I'm in uh, I'm in my demo tenant here. Uh, this is and I've got under the control the co-pilot section in the M365 Admin Center. We've got this new agents and connectors here. So this wasn't here probably a week or so ago. At least it wasn't for me. So this is um, this is kind of a very similar experience where we used to go to settings, integrated apps, and manage our agents. But now this is kind of what we announced at at the Wave Two Spring release, and what we talked about as well as build. We're moving more of that, more of the Copilot management and governance stuff into Copilot under the Copilot umbrella here as part of the con Copilot control system. So um, all of our agents are here and so forth. One of the things I'll point out for you is if you Google or Bing. Um, uh, manage co-pilot agents usually that'll probably be in the top in the top results here you'll get this article says manage agents for microsoft 365 co-pilot this goes in this article goes into all of the ways that we manage agents and highlights a new experience in the um in the admin center one of the things i'll point out here is you're going to want either you it to be able to re be able to view and edit so have that right privilege to manage block and, and those agents you'll either want an ai admin or a global admin and if you just want someone to be able to read view only, um, you have that global reader. But this article goes into all of the all of the things. I'm not going to dive into all of this. It's just a short video to kind of show you where some of the buttons are, and I'll make a more detailed video later. But back to the admin center here. Um, if you go to Copilot, drop that down, and you got the agents and connectors, and then these are all the agents available within um, within your tenant so some of these are at least for me when i first opened this up it's filtered to microsoft and external so um when it's on this filter we um think these are the microsoft agents so things like research are available so if i if i select research there i can go in there so i can click the menu button and i can block or remove it i can also then click into it and this is a very similar experience we had it within the integrated app section where i can see all the information on the edge agent i've got my overview my users so I can say who's assigned to this if I want to go to all the organization or a very specific user or specific user groups. Uh, I find this where some users will have where we want to manage agents for different users. We can specify security groups and so forth, as well as the details. Don't overlook the details section. This is really important, especially if you're if you're developing some of those custom agents in the Copilot Studio. Me as an admin, I can go in here and kind of verify some of the knowledge bases it's having, any actions or triggers that it's doing to kind of verify its risk and so forth to make sure it is a secure um, uh, agent. And uh, also it's uh, if I'm scoping it to users that I'm scoping it to the right users based on what it's accessing and so forth and any security compliance. So again, this is all bad. This is all available uh, in the previous section of integrated apps, but it's all here. I'm going to kill the researcher um, in the search box there. But uh, what about all my custom apps and my shared apps? So this is where we're able to see if you hit that filter section, we've got custom and shared apps. So if I hit custom, these are all the apps that um, my at least myself and some of my teams have made uh, in Copilot Studio. So this is where we can see all of those agents and kind of uh, have some rules and governance around that. And then we can drop into shared agents. So these are all the agents that are built in the agent builder. So the shared agent is if you go to Copilot on the web or that Copilot app and you hit create an agent that is a shared agent so that allows users to create those personal or small team agents that they have and this is where we have the ability to block them and so forth so um, right now for shared agents all we still have is just be able to see them and then block them but this is this is good information for you as an admin to be able to see who's creating what and kind of understand some of the use cases that your organization is doing. And then um, verify, make a hey, this, uh, I see this, there's a, and then we can go into um, uh, overview and, and billing and uses and, and some of the reports in Microsoft Admin Center to see how those agents are being used to say, hey, a lot of people are using the shared agent. Maybe I should bring this into Copilot Studio and make this more of a enterprise agent because a lot of people are using it. But um, that is a quick, uh kind of where where some of the changes are in the microsoft admin center i'm logged as an ai admin so one thing i'll point out if i go to settings i don't have integrated apps here because i'm only an ai admin uh, i'll switch over to another tenant where i'm a global admin and i have that section here so that section still is here i don't know if it's if it's going to stay and so forth but that section's still here but you won't see that unless you're a global admin if you're just an ai admin you'll get this view here where i manage all of my agents in the new agents and connectors experience but um uh, again i'll make a video that kind of details a little bit more but i hope you guys are excited and go push some buttons i'll talk to you later bye